Welcome to World in Two Minutes, these are your headlines. State of emergency was declared in the south of Peru where protests against the Tia Maria copper mine has killed four people in two months. The decision, which entails a full military control of the province of Isli, came hours after clashes between protesters and police left a 55-year-old demonstrator dead. Four demonstrators and three police have also been injured as a group of protesters tried to take control of a local police station. Protesters argue that if built, the Tia Maria mine will pollute key waterways for Arequipa. Three people were killed in a grenade attack during protests against Burundi's President Pierre Nkurunziza's bid for a third term in office. According to the Red Cross, three protesters were killed by police gunfire and eight were wounded, bringing the total of fatalities during the month-long anti-government protests to 30. Burundi's President Pierre Nkurunziza has delayed parliamentary elections which were set for May 26 by a week, after a failed military coup in the East African state. Almost 300 emails from a poll of 30,000 correspondences sent or received by Hillary Clinton via her private email account have been released to the public on the U.S. State Department's website. The documents cover an interval from January 2011 to December 2012 and include exchanges containing information as to the pre- and post-period of attacks at U.S. Embassy in Benghazi, which claimed three American lives including the Ambassador Christopher Stevens. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and the United Nations Security Council have strongly condemned the suicide bombing which killed more than 20 people in a Shi'i mosque in the province of Al-Khatif. The Secretary General stresses that such attacks on places of worship are abhorrent and intended to promote sectarian conflict. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack, identifying the bomber as Abdu Amr al-Najdi. This was the first attack on the predominantly Shi'i religion of the country under King Salman bin Abdulaziz, who came in power in January. Thanks for watching. FNAM Bayraktar, TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.